John Rambo is back, and this time he's even older and harder to understand. Um, hi guys, it's Lewis here. I've just been to see Rambo Last Blood, or Rambo 5 Last Blood, um, at the cinema. Um, I'm not the biggest Rambo guy. I am a big Stallone guy, and I particularly like old man Stallone. I like Rocky Balboa Stallone, as in the movie, not the character as such, although both, obviously. Um, and yeah, I I was hoping for more of a introspective, soulful movie in this, alongside Logan, like, and, you know, and Rambo has always been about the nature of war, and I was hoping for something along those lines. But what it is, is what you'd expect when you hear Rambo. It's lots and lots of, actually, no, lot, not lots, but enough uh, crazy violence and Stallone being angry and also really old. Um, and he's old. Uh, yeah, um, it's a very, very simple setup for a movie. Um, I won't even go into it because it's, you know, it's flimsy, but it works. Um, I'm, I'm a bit hazy on the details, but he's, a, there's a girl that he lives with and she gets kidnapped, etc. He goes to get her, other stuff happens. He kills a lot of Mexicans, which I think has upset some people probably, but you know, it is, yeah, partly set in Mexico. So that's where they are. Um, yeah, but, to be honest with you, I really enjoyed it. And from what I've seen, the general consensus has been critics say it's awful. The guy who wrote the original Rambo books hates it and is embarrassed to be associated with it. But the audience score is really good. And I had a good time. Um, again, I really like Stallone. He's still got a great screen presence, even though he's 73. Not that that's a bad thing. Clint Eastwood's nearly 90 and he's still great. But um, yeah, he's always got that Stallone intensity and, and that's fine. And he's an absolute hulking beast of a man still. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I thought it was fine. I, I genuinely love seeing an 18 rated film these days because you don't see them very often. And I like it. There's no, it doesn't hold back. There's some absolutely gruesome kills. I'm impervious to these things. I've seen everything. So it's, um, but I still, I still enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, um, if, if you like a bit of mindless action and it doesn't go on too long, it's not like John Wick where I was bored of people getting kicked and shot about halfway through. This is just, yeah, it's the, 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 the violence is kept to almost, I dare say a minimum, but not in a bad way. You know, they, they give you a little bit to start with. Then there's a little bit of heat on Rambo. That's a wrestling term. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then it's just the last big act of the violence. And there's at least two montages of Rambo building stuff, which is cool. Um, but yeah, um, I think if you like action and violence and whatever and Stallone, then you'll like it. Um, if you're looking for something a bit more, um, soulful, I guess, then probably not. Although I would like to see Logan-esque soulful Rambo, but it's probably not going to happen now, but I'm, I'm happy with it. It's cool. Um, yeah, that's my review of Johnny Rambo's Last Blood. Um, thanks. Bye.